All right, so uh, looking at our next little problem here, what we're going to do is uh, try to simplify this complex fraction. Uh, as you can see, it is a complex fraction because we have multiple fractions within a big fraction here. So uh, our job is to get one term on the top and one on the bottom. As you can see right now, we have two terms on the top. So I'm going to get a common denominator. Uh, denominator here, I can't factor anything, so x plus h is obviously new. Uh, x is also new. Uh, get a little point here, get a little example in this problem. You can't just come in and add things. I can't put plus h here. Uh, that just doesn't work. You can't uh, manipulate denominators by adding something. You can only do it through multiplication. So that's my common denominator. These things are different, obviously. So I'm going to have to multiply this by x, which means I multiply that by x. So it'll give me x here. However, on the next fraction, I need to come in and multiply by x plus h. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator, multiply it by x plus h. However, distribute the negative sign along with your 1, and it'll give you negative x minus h. If you notice in our denominator, we just have one term, so it's going to remain that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify my numerator, put those like terms together. So I get something that looks like this. And then of course now, instead, now that I have one term on the top and one on the bottom, what I'm going to do is instead of trying to divide, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So the reciprocal of h is 1 over h. And if I could factor anything, I would, but I can't. But I can simplify common factors. Multiply the numerators together to get your numerator. Multiply the denominators together to get your denominator. And there you go.